Taylor Swift seems to have an effect on nearly everything, and now she's making an impact on young voters. More than 35,000 new voters have been registered after Swift encouraged her followers to sign up on National Voter Registration Day, September 19th. Vote.org says that 23 percent increase from last year's efforts. The nonprofit CEO also says the site was averaging 13,000 visitors every 30 minutes, a nod to the singer's lucky number 13, apparently. And joining us now is Eugene Scott. He is a senior politics reporter at Axios. OK, Eugene, have we ever seen this kind of effect on a singer on, on their followers before? No, not really. I mean, the use of Instagram to push people to be involved in the electoral process is still relatively new. And that's why this has been so newsworthy. And how did she get involved with these issues in young voters? Where was the genesis of that? I think, quite frankly, it happened during the 2018 midterms, where many people were looking at where the country was going after the 2016 election. She released a documentary where she talked often about how she felt led to take a stand regarding many of the issues that people were talking about, race issues, uh, women's issues, LGBT issues. And, and she's gotten really involved quite a few times since then. And this is just the next step of that. So what is it about this demographic that's so important, the one that is clearly responsive, sort of 18 to 25? Well, I mean, millennials are currently the largest voting block, and Gen Z is expected to be in years, uh, in a few years, should I say. And her impact with these voters is still uh, pretty high, despite, you know, her no longer being an 18-year-old. The number of 18-year-olds who registered following her Instagram posts is more than doubled from the previous year. And so many of the concerns that these voters are focused on related to gun violence and climate change, uh, she has come out and expressed her concerns about as well. And before we sat down and taped, you were saying to me that having a singer or a celebrity get involved in the midterms is pretty unusual. Yes. Just take that a step further. Yes. I mean, it's newsworthy whenever someone of her caliber gets involved in the electoral process at all. But a midterm election, 2018, you know, something most regular people don't pay a lot of attention to really encourages people to say, you know, if you care about issues in this country, you should be engaged more than just every four years. There's some of those local offices you need to pay attention to. And, and she did. She endorsed multiple Tennessee Democrats in 2018, uh, reminding people that this is a place where she uh, is really invested and cares about. Um, so is she working both sides of the aisle here when it comes to registering voters? I've heard you talk a lot about Democrats. Yeah. Is she also focused on potential Republican voters? It doesn't seem like it. I mean, she's actually gotten into some tips with some conservatives on social media. But the registration post she uh, put forward on Instagram didn't tell anybody where, how to register or who to vote for, but just to make sure their voices were heard. So what kind of impact does she have, if any, on 2024? Well, I think what we're going to see, perhaps, is uh, her continue to talk about these issues and, and push people towards perhaps candidates that she thinks align with not only her values, but the values of her fans as well. All right. Eugene Scott, thank you for your analysis. Thanks for having me.